Hello and welcome to this short demo video in which I will show you the ability of Uploadia to create customer orders and customer order line items in Info4XA. Let's check how to do the mapping of the Excel and the business objects in Uploadia. Here we have the Excel file with the technical necessary data to create a customer order. Of course, you can add more columns with additional information to your Excel file. We can see the order type is 1, which means it is a customer order. The column order number is empty because we want XA to award this order number. We have to take care of this in the mapping afterwards. To make it easier to understand, we added colors into the Excel file. All fields in green are related to the customer order and everything in blue are the line item fields. As usual, we upload the Excel file on the left area and drop it into the mapping area. On the right side, we take the business object customer order first. We also drop that into the mapping area. The fields company, customer and terms were automatically mapped because the name in the Excel file is the same as in InforXA. This is correct, we can keep them. In this first step, we need to map all fields from the Excel file that belong to the customer order header, the green columns from the Excel. Order type must be mapped by drag and drop. Order number is mapped to order because it is empty in the Excel file. XA knows that it must assign the order number by itself. The order date also has to be mapped in this step. On the new button, we create a second mapping area with the same Excel and the business object customer order line items. Company and order type are automatically mapped. This is correct and we can keep it. Now we also need the blue lines. These blue lines are the already mapped fields from step 1. The blue lines mean that I do not want to map the attribute at customer order line item level with a value from Excel, but with a return value from the creation of the customer order. That would be in our example the customer order. We map order to order. You can see this in brackets, the attribute name instead of an Excel column name, ABF and so on. Now Uploadia knows that the order number at line item level is not filled with a value from Excel, but with the customer order number that will be created by InforXA in step 1. Then we need to map all columns from the Excel that belong to the line item, previously blue in the Excel. In your case, this is item, quantity and the tax indicator. So now we can save the mapping or go directly on upload. Since all lines are green here, the upload was successful. Now we will quickly check the results in InforXA. We go into the menu Customer Service, then Customer Orders and Quotes. Here we see the customer order with the date for today at customer 104. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next Uploadia video.